ultimate exploration inside of the human body. Fully immersive, living, breathing, simulated human body. It's a, a powerful way for us to be connected within our own health, to be able to understand what's happening inside of our own bodies in a much better, more visual, more intuitive way. pretty much been my life's uh, journey of starting out uh, in college as a pre-med major. Pre-med gone bad is what I call it and ultimately became an artist along the way. Graduated with my degree in biology but ultimately always thought what could we do as artists to be able to help people with their health. During a sailing trip around the world in 1994 I wrote I'm thinking of a way now to combine my very diversified interests. It may in the future be possible to create a virtual reality where the mind heals the body of any and all disease. We began in the early 2000s by creating medical animation. Uh, a lot of this was showed at trade shows. The U platform was on many different devices, but we always knew that virtual reality would play a huge role in how we redefine how health is communicated and understood. We'll be integrating with many of the hospital systems, for example, education and hospital networks. So together, we can improve patient lives in an entirely new way. We'd always envisioned virtual reality as something that we'd love to get into. We jumped right in to make our platform compatible and, and working. I can walk around it. I can see all the arteries in 3D, and I can see it enlarged, and I can interact with it directly and cause changes in it pull out the brain, have it isolated, and then interact with it. Visualize the neurologic connections in the brain. Visualize how your state of mind changes those. It's that personalization that's really amazing. And then think about diseases like diabetes. We can isolate a pancreas. We can show you that in the state of diabetes how the hormone regulation is altered how glucose is elevated in the blood and the impact that that has. This is very hard for patients to understand. The heart, there's so much that can be done in the heart because the heart is a mechanical pump and we can simulate that pump as it normally works, but then we can show how if a valve becomes stenotic, how it doesn't close completely and you can watch the blood leaking through that valve as it's pumping. If you think of lungs, there are many diseases in the lungs. One of the great health concerns today is smoking, one of the leading causes of lung disease that there is. We can show you, here's what actually happens in your lungs. Let's go inside there. Let's go down the trachea and into the bronchus. Let's go all the way down to the finest little air sacs called the alveoli. To be able to see that in front of you is so different than a doctor trying to explain it to you and then explain why you need to take this medication. scale is a huge advantage for us. Once we received our Vive, we were pretty quickly able to take all the work that we had done on the mobile platform. To then take the controls from that and put them into virtual reality, give people a chance to put their hands in there and be able to control everything. The ability to be tracked in a space and get around and look around at tracking and everything else is spot on. We have an amazing team here of scientists and artists and programmers and painstaking amount of detail that goes into all of the work. I started out as a research scientist in molecular biology. My job really is to drive the science and medical content. I'm working with medical director and the artist to make sure that it's the highest visual quality that the studio could possibly put out. We employ physicians as consultants on everything we do. We're building out all the structures that are inside these organs. We're adding animation, we're adding physiology to this. It's not Hollywood, it's not made up. Our number one mandate here is to be as medically accurate as we possibly can, taking license where we have to, obviously. It really is an endless evolution. All of the organs, all of the diseases that might happen in those organs, all of the treatments that will occur, continue to build onto it and update it and allow people to tell their stories with it. Physicians are very excited about being able to use this as a tool to educate their patients. Also students in medical school will be able to learn all these structures, all the physiology of the human body. There's a huge barrier to getting into the complexities of medical function, especially the human body. Get away from the medical jargon and let's look at how things work. Let's actually see it working. We believe that understanding is really the key to positive outcomes in treatment. The possibilities aren't even realized yet of all the directions we're going to go.